Well there, this is Dave Motohead again, out in the garage fixing stuff. And uh, I was doing something here and, and I ran into a situation that uh, I thought I'd videotape for you guys because a lot of you probably have ran into this or, or are going to run into this and you might think there's a problem when actually there isn't. So let me put the hat cam on and I will show you what I'm talking about. What we got here is we got a beautiful striper in here for a little tune up and uh, I'm replacing the windshield wiper switch because the windshield wipers quit working and as you can see I've got the steering wheel off because I'm fixing the turn signal thing that broke and uh, I'm actually going to be replacing the light switch too and uh, maybe I'll do a video on that in a moment but right now I've got the windshield wiper switch out and I've got this brand new one that I'm getting ready to put in well I want to test that before I put it in and so you guys would go down here with the wires and you go okay that hooks up like that I think that hooks up like that yeah and then I hook this one on there like that okay so I got my wires hooked up and I turn on the key and I turn the switch and no windshield wipers well, gosh, this must be a broken switch, right? No, wrong. On these GM cars, everything runs through the ground. This switch just completes the circuit to ground from the motor. And so what you got to do to test it is you got to ground your circuit. And there's a nice ground spot on there. And if you watch here, when I turn the knob and I touch the ground... Well, maybe I don't have a good enough ground. There we go. Now, you see... Come on, sucker. I gotta scrape that up to get to some solid metal there. Anyways, you see now, the windshield wipers are working. Because I've grounded it. You see that? So now I know this switch works. See, now my windshield wipers are working. And uh, you got to really scrape these things to get a good ground on there. So anyway, now my windshield wipers are working. So now I know this switch is good. But you really got to ground that thing good on there. And you'll see it spark when I hit a good ground. And maybe this isn't grounding good enough here. That could be. But anyways, you always got to ground the switch. See, there they go. So, anyway, now that I know my switch is good because, because it's grounded out. And you can see that. Now it's working. Okay, so now I know my switch is good. So, that's something that you always got to do when you're, when you're checking your windshield wiper switches. Is you got to make sure that you got a good ground on there. And make sure that you got a good... Uh, like uh, this good washer here, the star washer, so it'll ground down to that, to that uh, uh, dashboard and ground the switch, so it'll work. So, anyway, that's a little bit of, little bit of, little bit of wiper switch 101 there for you. Make sure that when you're playing with those things, that you ground the switch, so it'll work right for you, and uh, then you can test it and not think that you got a problem. So anyway, it's Dave Motorhead, and it's a little light. Uh, uh, windshield wiper switch 101 for the day. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. You know how hard this is to do this? Huh? Huh? Do you? Do you punk? No, I guess you don't because you don't do this and I do. Sometimes I trip over my own tongue. Thanks for watching.